What's Gucci everybody, it's AJ here again, and today I want to talk about the difference between binary trees and binary search trees. There is a difference, and it is very important to know this. If you're in a job interview, or if somebody asks you, you know, make an algorithm using a binary tree, you want to be specific if you're using a binary tree or a binary search tree. Now for a quick review, let me just tell you about a binary tree. A binary tree is a tree that basically has each node can have 0, 1, or 2, 2 maximum children. Now this first node I'm drawing here can contain any con information. In my case it will contain numbers and I'm going to put a 5 there make it a little more readable and then it's going to have a child, a left child of 7 and it's going to have a right child of 10 and I'm gonna have and every node can have one zero one or two children so seven I'm gonna give it 14 for seven again its right child is gonna be let's give it eight for ten it's gonna be one and its right child let's see is let's make it 20 now there are rules about a tree that you must know no matter what. Now, for instance, one of one rule about a tree is that to get from one place to another, there can only be one path to get from one node to another. So, for instance, for me to go from 20 to 1, I can only go from 20 to 10 to 1. Those are really bad arrows, but yes. There's no other way I could get there, no other way I could abuse the system. I could go from 20 to 10 to 5 to 10 to 1, but that would be basically I would be just abusing something and I wouldn't be taking a different path. I would still be using the going through the same triangle. So that's a rule about trees. Now, this is a binary tree. And basically binary trees, binary search trees just have one more rule. But quickly let me tell you a few things about binary trees. Now as you can see, the first node in a binary tree, the top node, is called the root. And it is where all the nodes descend from. So if you create a binary tree, the first thing you're going to create is the root. Now there are certain properties that binary trees have. For instance, they have depth and depth is the distance from the root node. And so, how I like to think of it is that if you were to label the levels or the depths of the binary tree, you would label it as zero because the depth of the root node is zero because it's it is the first depth is the root node and then the second the children of the root node are one node away from the root node and the children of the roots children are two nodes have a depth of two from the roots children and in a binary tree there's something called a perfect binary tree which is where all the children or all the nodes have two children except for the last nodes and the last nodes or the bottom most nodes must have zero children and you can always calculate this by equation of 2 to the n plus 1 minus 1 and n equals the depth so for instance here the depth is 2 so 2 to the 2 to the it, it, 2 to the 2 plus 1 is 2 to the 3, which is 8, minus 1 is 7. And as we see, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 nodes in this chart. So this will always work, but it must be a perfect binary tree, which I went over. Now to teach you guys what a binary search tree means. So as you can see, bin a binary search tree is what conserves order in a binary tree. What that means is that, as you can see, I have all these nodes and there's no order to them. Well, in a binary search tree, the left node is always less than the parent and the right node is always greater than the parent node. And if I didn't mention it before, every node below the 
every node below the road node they come from is known as a child parent relationship. So for instance, 14 is the child of 7, and 7 is the child of 5, and 5 you, five is the root, but 5 is also the parent of 7, and 5 is also the parent of 10. And it's also possible to say 5 is the grandparent of 20. There's two, there's two nodes between them. Okay, and now, so let me draw you an example of a binary tree with this example. So as you can see, I had 5 as the root, but in a binary tree, I need to preserve order so I can always switch. So let's say I use the same elements I did in this above binary tree. So I had 5, 7, and 14, 8, 1, and 20. Now I'm going to add, now I'm going to add this to a binary, a binary search tree structure and show you how it's different and how it preserves order. So with the above elements, I just added them immaturely, didn't really think about it, didn't have any order. But now when I add 7, 7 is greater than 5, so 7 is going to be the right child of 7. Now let me show you for the next step, I have 10. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to start at 5. I'm going to say 10 is greater than 5, so I'm going to go to 7. Then I'm going to look at 7 and say, is 7 greater than 10? No. 10 is greater than 7, so 10 will be a right node of 7. So this preserves the order. Now I'm going to add 14. 14 is greater than 5, 14 is greater than 7, 14 is greater than 10. So I'm going to add 14. Also, okay, now I'm going to put in 8. 8 is greater than 5, it's greater than 7, but it's less than 10, so it's going to be 10's left node. Now I'm going to add 1. 1 is less than 5, and 1 does not have a left node, so it becomes 5's left node, or 5's child. Now I'm going to add 20, which as we can see goes all the way down to... goes all the way down to right here. All the way to the bottom because it's greater than 5 is greater than 7 is greater than 10 is greater than 14. And so it becomes 14 is the right child. Now as you can see, this is not a perfect binary tree because there are a lot of, because 5 or 14 only has one child, 7 only has one child, and it's not perfect. Really, when you get when you were looking for a perfect binary tree, you usually have a nice little pyramid shape or triangle shape, like I showed you in the beginning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and remembered that a binary search tree preserves searching, and a binary tree does not. It just puts the nodes in an unarbitrary order, but still obeys the rules of having zero, one, or two childs. Well, guys, I hope you have a great great day, and I'll see you later. I almost said great tutorial, but have a Gucci day.